Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Pond Succession. Over time, an area of open fresh water will naturally dry out and ultimately become a woodland. During this time, a range of different land types, such as a swamp and a marsh, will succeed each other. In the end, this body of water and its community will transition into a land community. So let's take a look at the different stages. Stage one, phytoplankton stage. Phytoplankton's green algae and diatoms are the pioneer colonizers. Their spores are carried by air to the pond. The phytoplankton are then followed by zooplankton, which settle down to the bottom of the pond after they die and decay into and begin to form soil. As this soil builds up, the pond becomes more shallow and further environmental changes follow. The submerged stage. As the water body becomes more shallow, more submerged rooted species are able to become established due to increasing light penetration in the shallow water. This is suitable for growth of rooted submerged species such as Elodia. These plants root themselves in the mud and the pond becomes even more shallow during this stage. Next you have the floating stage. The floating plants are rooted in the mud but some or all of their leaves float on the surface of the water. These include several different species, but these free floating species become associated with root plants. The large and broad leaves of floating plants shade the water surface and conditions become unsuitable for growth of submerged species, which begin to start disappearing. The plants decay to form organic mud, which makes the pond even more shallow. Next, you have the reed swamp stage. The pond is now invaded by emergent plants such as reed grass and begin to form a marsh. The plants produce large quantities of leaf litter and the surface of the pond is converted into a water saturated marshy land. Next, we have the sage meadow stage. During this stage, the water level continues to lower, which allows sedge plant members to grow. Sedge plants are grass-like plants with triangular stems and flowers. These plants add additional leaf litter to the soil. Eventually, the sedge peat accumulates above the water level and the soil is no longer totally waterlogged. Now, we're at the woodland stage. The soil now remains drier for most of the year and becomes suitable for the development of wet woodland. It contains shrubs and trees. This type of wet woodland is also known as a car. Cars are wetlands that are dominated by shrubs rather than trees. And they look a little bit like a swamp, but a drier swamp. And finally, the climax stage. Finally, a climax community develops. It may be a forest, a grassland, or a desert. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.